Welcome back, everyone, to episode 12 of the U.S. series. So, I've played a number of models for this episode. And going into the election, I get blown out every time. So, this episode, I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, believe it's a bug. So, I'll just play as the uh, successor and continue on with the series. Alright, so... <clears throat> we need to try to deal with our dead. And... I believe I could get that down a little bit more. And what we're going to do is going to privatize the uh, postal service so that should bring us in a little more money all right so our inflation is at 3.59 the terrorist organization has nodded off. This is the least you can say. Okay, I need to send We're going that back. Alright, so that improved our economy a little bit more. Um... We're going to just have to go ahead and do some budget cuts. Oh, completely forgot. Still during uh, campaign season, so I'm not able to do much with that. All right, so we reduced illegal employment, but we still have a ways to go to try to bring that down some more. Many people are left in the streets. It is absolutely necessary to do something. The military base was dismantled, conforming to your instructions. All right, so our military base in Germany, we closed one of them. But, I mean, that still leaves us with... We are going to attack this... Still leaves us with three... No, actually, uh... Still leaves us with four military bases in Germany. So, once the election is over, I'm going to look to close down another one. This theory is undeniably gaining popularity on social media. Alright, so let's deal with that. Let's make sure we... Try to get rid of as many of these as we can. Alright, so I'm leading with 53% of the vote. Which is interesting so far, because I'm not really doing anything now. Um, I ran network conducting nuclear tests. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Alright, let's...
let's look at our crime rate. Uh, starting to level off some. Um, and that would be a campaign promise too, so I can't do anything with that. Let's look at our growth. It's at 4%. So if that's at four percent, what is our unemployment rate? That's a little too low. Should be between three and five percent. Um Yeah, I still can't do anything. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Our economy is dynamic. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's go to service. And we still have some improvements we can make. So we're going to subsidize internet services and we're going to add 1 billion to that um same with numerical infrastructures I'm going to add 1 billion to that as well all right road transportation all right, that's good for now. About urban transportation. Let's add 500 million for that. Okay. And there's nothing I can do here without it being a campaign promise. So, let's see. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. After privatizing this sector, it will be hard to say right away whether we will come out on top financially. Selling our shares was definitely a success and will provide money up front but on the other hand, this was a very dynamic sector that let us bring in substantial profits each year. Hindsight will, of course, be 2020. Okay, so let's do a couple things in industry. Um, we want to improve agriculture. So let's, on top of the 10 billion we're already subsidizing, we're going to add another 2 billion on top of that. And, okay, synthetic fibers. Actually, all right, software is fine. Oh, rare earth oxides. So we're finally uh, producing more of that where we're self sufficient now. All right, so rare earth oxide. So since we're a little more competitive with uh, with China now, so let's take care of a couple things to. 
make sure we don't buy anything from China at all. So we're going to put a 40% tariff on them for rare earth oxides. Um, let's see, where are we at great public bionics? All right, we can do some improvements on that, but not, not yet. All right, the semiconductors. We really need a lot more of that. So we're going to make an investment of $2 billion to increase production. And... Just going to do, we'll do 15% on China to try to steer more, uh, more business towards U.S. products. Uh, let's see. No, we're not going to take out any foreign leaders that's asking for a war. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Our agent also allows us to anticipate and therefore counter- Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, we're still 53% of the vote intention. Alright, decrease in the prison population density. Okay, so, in other words, we need to build more prisons. According to their analysis, our services believe that this conspiracy theory no longer interests the population. Therefore, we will archive the file. Alright, um, let's see. Yeah, can't do anything because that's going to be a campaign promise. So let's go to farming. And let's see. Okay, so beef. Can I add another 300 million to that? Cereals. Definitely you need more of that. So I'm gonna increase that by another billion. Um I think we could really do well if we grow our own coffee. So we actually are, but not enough to even come close to our demand. So we're going to do a $2 billion investment in that. And I believe that should actually pay off a lot better than some of the other investments that I've made. All right, foul. Okay, consumption actually went down. Um, pork. Produce a lot of that. Um, let's see. Consumption. Uh, China consumes the most. Um, 
Yeah, I can't do anything until after the election. So, all right, sugar beets. Uh, let's see with sugar. We don't produce enough. What about sugar cane? No, we don't push produce enough. Um, sugar beets we do. So actual sugar. Let's just invest five hundred million. And vegetables. We really need a lot more of that. So let's go with three billion for vegetables. Our services report a new conspiracy theory that is beginning to take hold on social media. You can view the description of this theory and its development on our summary page. All right, let's try to shut that down. All right, so it looks like we completely took out the Russian Mafia. Yeah, we did. So there's only two groups that within the country that we have to deal with and that's the Chinese Mafia and the Italian Mafia. All right, yeah, we can congratulate them. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the short and long-term benefits are almost incalculable. And we'll take our chances. Right, she only has 8% of the vote. One of our drones has detected camouflaged enemy units that we have listed on our military. Alright, so there's an earthquake in California. 39 wounded, 19 dead. Uh, let's go with 4 billion. The funeral will take place next week. Alright, was that someone in our cabinet? Doesn't look like it was. Alright, so we're coming up on our debate. Alright, so let's check. Alright, inflation. There's no improvement so far. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian opening, if you're looking. Alright, we're gonna refuse that. Um, the reason why I'm refusing is every time I attempt to do so, it doesn't work out anyway. Alright, so it looks like we have... Good evening. The highly anticipated debate will begin in a few moments' time. The candidates are ready. Naturally, we will ensure that they are given equal speaking time. This will be closely monitored. We have also set up a new instant polling system to gauge viewers' reactions to the candidates' arguments and, in some ways, define the winner of the debate. 
Let's get to the first part of the program. Underway now. The candidates will take it in turns to comment on various issues of importance to our fellow citizens. So, what's your opinion on the matter? All right, so health and social security. Um, maybe if we... It is workers. essential in a society where the demand for health care is constantly increasing to ensure access to quality health services. I can assure you that I will mobilize the necessary means to guarantee this fundamental right. Thank you. And moving on, what would you like to say about this? The state must not engage as much as it can in societal reforms for purely avant-gardist reasons. On the contrary, it is necessary to consciously take into account the influence of heritage and our cultural wealth in shaping our major decisions. You can count on me to protect what keeps us ever united. Thank you. Let's move on to another issue. So... What's your opinion on the matter? Alright, he's going to reduce public safety? That's In not going to In these difficult well. times, it is essential that the government services agree to some budgetary sacrifices. What is more, in certain domains it is possible to do just as well with less. I will therefore commit to this visionary perspective of debt reduction, which will protect generations to come. Very well. Coming over to you, where do you stand on this? Anything you want to add? Alright, so for... Peace. Um... Let's try this. Let us not delude ourselves. Sexism and discrimination continue to exist. With me, our country will lead the way in defending and respecting women's rights. Thank you. It's now time for the second part of the program, where the candidates will be able to ask each other questions directly. Well, I would like some clarification on this matter which you've bandied about, in my opinion, throughout the campaign. All right, so... All right, so let's do biomass and make that... We must at all costs engage the country in a broad development of renewable energies. On the one hand, to participate at our level to the victory on global warming, and on the other hand, to viably structure our energetic independence. I will lead and win in this battle. All right, so... Pick something I would to like to him. hear you talk about this subject, as I feel you've been quite vague as to where you stand. It is essential to maintain and develop, cost what it may, the living conditions of our young people. By restoring confidence to them, we set all the country in motion. The youth will be at the center of my political project. Thank you. We are now coming to the end of the debate. I would like to ask both candidates to wrap up now and perhaps share one final promise with us. Uh, established stock of automatic radars. He's increasing it 
I know how much public security is a strong preoccupation of our co-citizens. Oh, you gotta I be kidding me. I could not compromise on this fundamental right, and I can assure you that it will remain one of my priorities. All right, let's see if we can... All right, so if we give a tax cut to the middle class. Purchasing power drives economic growth because consumption stimulates demand, and this creates investment. Our fellow citizens will soon be back spending money in the shopping malls because I guarantee they will have the money to do so. Thank you once again to both of you for the clean and fair debate. All right, I got and destroyed to all by our Mr. Valued viewers. I hope this has helped you gain a greater perspective on our candidates. Good evening. Our instant polling system has designated a winner. Good evening. The funeral will take place next week. All right, conducting nuclear tests. All right, governor has issued orders to perform secret nuclear tests. All right, so I got destroyed in that debate. All right, so we got rid of that terrorist group in Afghanistan. I believe it's the Jihadist Caliphate. really no point because I'm going to lose in this election. Which is funny because I'm actually winning in the polls. So again, I think this is a bug. So it's showing him as the only candidate, so that means I'm basically going to lose. And uh, from the previous games that I played, let's just confirm I'm going to get Ronald Reagan in the. Uh, Or actually, Walter Mondale in the, the in majority the election. Of votes have been counted. Take a look at this. So watch, the entire country is going to be red, which is what I believe Ronald Reagan did to Walter Mondale. Yes, it sure looks this way. Um, this is what happens to me every time. Now, if this were to happen in real life, I actually wouldn't mind, depending on who they 
GOP candidate is. Why this election is a massacre, basically. Actually, I've done worse this time around than the last one. At least I uh, had three electoral votes with uh, Washington, D.C., the last game that I played, or the last model game I played. But this is like a thousand times worse. Five hundred and forty four electoral votes. That's bad. Right, so he won over drivers, self defense. Seventy-one percent of voters exercise their right. Uh, should we take out the Iranian chief of staff? Ah, uh, why not? So, like I said. We will, uh, I'll play as Nick McGullin and continue this series. All right, so let's see how much longer, I have roughly around 48 days left for these two uh, oil platforms. This loss is so very painful to us all. Dear in our memories, these loved ones will always remain. Each and every one of these families have my entire support in this difficult moment. All right, for that funeral, I don't know if that was for my campaign or if it was for someone else. It's probably a combination of both. Or really, it should have been for that. Failed election campaign that I just conducted. So I'm going to end this as soon as... Uh, we switch over, which this makes no sense because 100% approval, but I got voted out. So that is Eversim logic for you. No. And yes, I'll play as the successor. So as soon as that switches over, I will end this series. Or not the series, but this episode. And... The next episode, I will probably follow up on...
when you guys won it in the polls. And there it is. So I'm going to end this episode and thank you so much for the support of this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click on the bell so you can be notified of future videos and I will see you soon.